I'm somebody who believes very deeply in science and the importance of understanding science and understanding how it applies to your life and why it matters. I write a lot for the New York Times Magazine, Oh, the Oprah Magazine. I've written for National Public Radio, various television shows. I'm a storyteller and I'm driven to tell stories that give people information that they wouldn't otherwise have. I'm driven to tell stories about the intersection between science and daily life in a way that makes sort of both sides of that think about how they interact with each other. When I'm writing about science, there are really two different kinds of writing that I do, and one of them is, you know, the facts. I need to tell you what a cell is, and I you know, do it in a paragraph or so. And another is when I'm recreating a scene in which I can use the narrative of the moment to convey scientific information. So I'm going to read first a sample of the just the facts. Under the microscope, a cell looks a lot like a fried egg. It has a white, the cytoplasm, that's full of water and proteins to keep it fed, and a yolk the nucleus, that holds all the genetic information that makes you, you. The cytoplasm buzzes like a New York City street. So when I do this kind of writing that isn't part of a scene, one of the things that I try to do is bring the science to life in a way that anyone can understand and use terminology and comparisons that relate to everyday life. So an egg, everybody, you immediately, when I say this looks like an, a fried egg, you know what that looks like. The white does this, the yolk does that. These are all things that are part of people's just daily understanding. Um, the cytoplasm buzzes like a New York City street. You've got a visual, you, you can imagine what a New York City street looks like. So I intentionally use a lot of language that brings immediate visuals to people's minds that have nothing to do with the science that I'm explaining, but they're the, a way of showing you what this actually is in your in language that anybody can understand. <laughs> 